like how to make this. Um, and I'll tell you why. But I wanted to show you one of my drinks that I love to make. Or talk about the drinks, one of the drinks that I love to make. Because I already made it. And long story short, the video did not work. So I didn't want to make another one. So this is pretty much me telling you guys what to do to make this. So the ingredients is at the bottom. But this is my banana chocolate um, milkshake. So this is a non, this is not really a healthy, the healthiest drink to have, but it's not that bad either. So because of the ingredients that I use. So I usually use my personalized blender that I got um, from Savania that you can get at Walmart, um, you can get at Walgreens, um, and I love it. You can get two servings off of this. So out of this. So what you do is you get my first of all my ingredients is I use obviously vanilla ice cream. You can get organic ice cream, you can get frozen vanilla yogurt, um, whatever you want. But I just use plain vanilla ice cream. Uh, French vanilla is actually good too. You can use French vanilla. But I'm using vanilla. So I get three ice cream scoops of vanilla and I put it in here. And then I use um, what I put in next. Then I put in my frozen banana. So I have it already cut in half. So you use one full banana and you just cut it in half to put in. And um, then you use um, a cup of milk. And this is the milk that I use, the organic, the Horizon Organic. And this is the 2%. So you can use skim milk, you can use whatever, whatever floats your boat. But I recommend organic milk um, and or skim organic milk. Um, it just seems to be better, that's my opinion. But, um, yeah, and then um, you put, okay, the ice cream, that, okay, that, okay. And then, <laughs> I have to remember, then you put your ice, your chocolate. Now, I use the value time. Sometimes I buy Hershey's, which is obviously the best, but you can't really tell. This is a good taste, so I recommend getting the, the value time. And I think you can get this at Walmart or Great Value. I think they have Great Value. I don't know where I got value time from, actually. Either way, I've tried the Great Value one, I've tried Hershey's, I've tried, obviously, this one. It's almost gone. So I like this one. So, you know. So you just pour with the amount that you want. Um, that's why I don't really um, have a measurement as far as the chocolate um, goes because you can have as much, you can put whatever floats your boat, you know. Good luck. You can put a drop in there, you can put, you can go to town with it, whatever you like. But, um, yeah, just put some of this in. And then, um, that's it. So then you put it, it's a little cap, secure it, and then you put it on pulse first because the, the banana, you have to really grind the banana. And so, yeah, so you just, you know, blend until it's smooth. And sometimes you, you can stop and then check it and see if it's the consistency that you want. That's why I think... Sometimes um, you have to, it's like, it's sort of your own personalized um, uh, recipe because you're like, oh, no, it's not runny, it's getting runny, or I probably blend it too much. So you always check and see in the middle of it to see if it's too thick, if you need to add more milk, um, if you want to um, add more ice cream. It's sort of your own little thing. So that's, that's what I learned when I did... Um, my first um, milkshake. I got the ingredients from Google. I found a simple way to do it, and it just wasn't for me. Like, I didn't want it to be thick, so I had to add more milk, you know? So, yeah, it's basically up to you, but I just told you the ingredients that you guys should be using. So, okay, so after you take it out, it's already in there, all nice and together, um, you pour it into a glass. And um, then that's when the fun start, starts. So I'll show you, coming up next, what I put on top of my final result. And you'll see my final result of everything. So stay tuned. <laughs> into the glass, okay, and I love this glass, I got this from Party City, you know, where you get all your party, you know, stuff, 
the plates and what have you. I love that store. It's just absolutely great. And they have these cool, you know, glasses. So, all right, so I put it in there. Now, this is what I put on top of it. This is the fun part. So I used to get this frozen ice cream, not frozen ice cream, this deep fried ice cream at this restaurant called Chi Chi. And if anybody remembers that, let me know, because, I mean, that was the bomb. So they used to have this frozen ice cream, frozen, no, not frozen ice cream. They used to have this um, fried ice cream that they had, they would fry the ice cream, and the batter would have cornflakes on it. And so it would just be unbelievable. But I have my own version of it. And also, shout out to my aunt, Auntie Karen and Debbie. Uh, I saw that you guys are watching, so um, this one is actually for you. So I put um, the cornflakes on top of the drink. And I also put cornflakes, I have my version of the fried ice cream without frying it to make it healthier so you wouldn't have to do the deep frying. I just put um, the cornflakes on top of a bed of vanilla ice cream and all the other fixings. And then underneath the ice cream, I put, um, or tortilla, like a, it's a, sort of like a fried tortilla in olive oil. And I sprinkle cinnamon on top. It's just unbelievable. So it's my version of the fried ice cream. So this is where I got the cornflake idea. So I just crushed some cornflakes on top of this. And I don't think you should use a straw for this because I don't want you to choke. <laughs> so you just drink it like this. You taste that crunch and mmm. It is absolutely unbelievable. I'm sorry. I, I try not to like sound like a a freak here, but yeah, it's great. It's unbelievable. And the banana, you can taste the banana in there. So you have two bad ingredients that's not so good for you. And you have two good ingredients that's good for you. So you can't really can't can't beat that. So yes. So I it's optional. You don't have to use the cornflakes on top. Um, you can use whipped cream, um, you can use, um, not whipped, yeah, you can use whipped cream, ready whip, um, and you can use, um, what's it called, cool whip, you know, so yeah. And, um, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, I do put the chocolate on top of the, um, the cornflakes. So let me show you how it looks. Hmm. Let me show you how it looks. So good. Yeah. It's so good, guys. I'm sorry. It's just the bomb. And I actually prefer my milkshakes, my chocolate milkshakes, with bananas in it for some reason. It just has that extra kick to it. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, you can use a, a spoon, which is fun. Or if you want to eat it, you know, just drink it. It's good, too. Mm. Yeah, so all of the ingredients, not really so much the measurements. But the ingredients, well, you'll have some measurements down there, like three scoops of ice cream and all that. But it will change after you start blending because you'll see if you need more, you need less. It's like that sort of thing. So sort of like your own personal, like I said, personal recipe for this. But I just gave you all the ingredients that I use, and I hope you guys like it. I hope you have a fun treat with your friends. This is great. Again, this is actually great for parties. Um, it's great for... You know, just something to have as a treat for yourself um, during your fitness routine um, on your cheat day, which my cheat day is actually Friday. So I usually get something like, I'll probably get like french fries um, <laughs> or I don't know, just something that's not, you know, something you're not supposed to have. And then proportion sizing is always key. Like I'll have like a small fry, you know, something that, or just, it depends. It depends on what I want. Like if I want a pizza, I'll have a slice of pizza. You know, so I usually have my cheat day, and it does work for me. It works for a lot of my clients. So I recommend having that cheat day, and this is the perfect thing to have for a cheat day because <laughs> you got your bananas, you got your organic milk in here, and then you get to add the little little no-nos, um, you know, your chocolate and your ice cream. But um, it's not so bad. You know, hey, like I said, you can sort of make it your own and make it have some vanilla ice cream, not vanilla ice cream, your um, vanilla frozen yogurt in there so to make it a little bit more healthier. So, mm. okay. You guys got to get out of here because I haven't finished this. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So I hope you like it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. And like I said, I love you, Auntie. I love you, Auntie Debbie, and everyone else who's watching. And if you have any 
um, suggestions of what you want me to make or anything you, um, you know, you want to see, just let me know. And, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so until next time, peace out. <laughs>